Hello, good morning, my Patreons. I'm heading off to work. I'm gonna make up a little time. I wanted to talk about silver and gold. Since I've been stacking, I've always said silver and gold have the potential one day to make us very, very happy. I've always said that the prices of silver and gold are gonna go up significantly higher than they are today. And they are trending in that direction. They definitely are trending, and I got some good news. I think within a short period of time here, we're gonna see $20 silver. I also believe that we're gonna see $2,000 gold. And now, I want you to understand something. When I say $2,000 an ounce of gold, that is the highest gold has ever been. I think the record right now is 19, 19 and change, what let's call it, because I really am driving, I don't know the exact number. But that was the record price of, of gold. It's going up to 2000 I have some Patreons that claim, I don't know them personally, they have like 4,000 ounces of, of silver. Can you imagine what their stockpile of silver will be once it gets to $20? And it is going to surpass $20. Please understand that. Your silver is going to surpass $20. But imagine you have any sizable amount. Let's just say you only have 500 ounces. Multiply by 20. That's your savings. That's your savings account. Not many people have that kind of savings account, folks. Oh, they might have that type of money in the bank but it is not a savings account. It is a repository <laughs> for when bills need to pay, be paid next month, so to speak. It is owed, it is, that is most important. It is owed to somebody else, payable at a future date, so therefore it's not savings. I always said this, you hold silver, you have more savings than most people have in the United States. Walk proud. Gold, again, going up to $2,000 an ounce. I promise you this. I bought a quarter ounce of gold. I think I made the purchase in April. And I was shocked at the amount I had to pay for it. I paid like $520 for that quarter ounce. Now granted, the premiums on quarter ounces or any small increment is always higher. I don't know why, but they are. So I paid a real big premium on that. But the fact of the matter is, three or four months prior to that, I could have got the same quarter ounce in the high fours, 479 again what's going on in our country, what's going on in the world for that matter, is driving the prices of silver and gold up. And they're gonna continue to go up. I know many of you don't like cryptocurrencies. I understand that. And I'm guilty for that apprehension. For many years, I've always said, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. I still firmly believe it. To a point. See, the dollar bill is just a marker anymore. It's not real money. And when I say the dollar bill, it could be a five, or it could be a 20, it could be a hundred dollar bill. It's just a marker. Because when you go to a bank, it's just digits on a screen. Remember I said that, it's just digits on a screen. As a matter of fact, most people don't even use cash anymore. They use a plastic card called a debit card or a credit card to just transfer those ones and zeros. They're just digits on a screen. And cryptocurrencies have found offered me an advantage, though 
Although cryptocurrencies are digits on a screen, they have offered me an advantage of making money. Very much like silver has. Let's face it, a lot of our silver is bought at cheap prices. It's $18.79 as of last night. We've made money off of our silver, whether you like it or not. So I believe cryptocurrencies have some of those advantages. They're just, unlike cash, it doesn't, it's not digits that sit in the bank and, and just sit there and lose purchasing power. You have the advantage of, the, you have the ability, I should say, of making money off your cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies rise and fall just like silver. Unlike cash. Cash might rise, but it's just very, very minute. It's quarter of a percent here, quarter of a percent there. You know, let's say Bitcoin, you buy it for Let's say you got into it for $9,000 for Bitcoin. And a week later, it can be like 9800 You have an advantage of making it. Now, those are just like numbers I pulled out of my, my head. But, therefore, those are the reasons I also get into cryptos. I believe it's a diversification of money. I don't put a lot of cryptos money into cryptos. First of all, I don't have enough. I put what I'm willing to lose, what what I'm comfortable losing. So when I go to Vegas, I'm not a gambler, but my wife and I will bring a cup of change. In the cup of change, it might be worth 15 bucks. We're comfortable with losing that at Vegas. We sit at a nickel machine we play slots or dimes. We don't bet the mortgage is what I'm trying to tell you. We don't bet our life, life savings, our retirement on cryptocurrencies. We put into what we're comfortable losing, where it wouldn't be detrimental to us if we lost it. And so far, I'm up with the crypto. So a lot of people keep asking, what are my favorite cryptos? My top five, which really is uh, Bitcoin. I don't have much in Bitcoin. I wish I had more. Um, I have a little bit of Bitcoin. Um, what, do, what else do I have? I have some Litecoin. I have... I'm listening to the radio. Um... um I have some Litecoin. I have a touch of Ethereum. Just a, not even a full Ethereum coin. Digibyte is where I have the bulk of my uh, my investment in. Digibyte and Theta. Uh, so those two are actually my favorite. Theta, I have high hopes for Theta and Digibyte. Speculations say that I'm no fool. I don't believe every speculator. But the people that are in the know claim that Digibyte can get up to $9, between $9 and $12. Just remember that, $9 and $12. That's what these people in the know claim it can get to. Right now, you can buy Digibyte for two cents, two pennies. Can you imagine if the speculators hit it low and you only, and they only got up to nine dollars? Got it low on their range. It only got up to nine dollars, but you were able to acquire a hundred thousand digibyte or more. Can you imagine that? What a profit that would be? You see my point? Let's just say you only acquired 100,000 and the speculators are way off. Totally 
totally screwed up. Didn't know what the hell they were talking about. And it only got up to one dollar. Nowhere near the nine and and twelve dollar range. One dollar times your hundred thousand digibyte. You got a hundred thousand dollars, folks. Take thirty thousand of that. Thirty-five, maybe pay off the tax man. Cha-ching. I'm hoping your goal, though, is a, if you're into Digibyte, is over a hundred thousand. By the way, um, but but that's the reason why I can get into it so cheaply, and even to amass a hundred thousand is not an awful lot of money. It's not betting my life savings. It's you know what I mean. Theta. Right now, Theta, um, most of my Theta was purchased right around 10 and 13 cents. And it just stayed there forever, 10 and 13 cents, and I just kept buying it. Last time I looked, it was 24 cents. <laughs> speculators, these same speculators that claim Theta one day will be in the thousands like Bitcoin. Now, I can't afford a lot of cryptos, but let's just say I was lucky enough to acquire, <clears throat> excuse me, 50,000 Theta. And let's just say they were wrong. The speculators didn't even get, even didn't even touch a thousand dollars, let alone into the thousands. Let's just say they hit it on the low end and only got up to one thousand dollar. No higher. But you were able to acquire fifty thousand. Let's just say you were able to only acquire ten thousand. You see the potential. Now let's just say those speculators were way wrong totally mucked it up and only got up to a hundred dollars <laughs> do you still see the potential regardless of whether you only got 10,000 or or you were able to achieve that 50,000 mark which is my goal I'm nowhere near my goal but I'm I gotta save up just like you folks do but can you see the potential, even if I only was able to acquire 10,000? So there's the reasons why those two are my favorites. The potential of them and the, the current price that I can get into it now. I, pit, I, 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 I compare it to penny stocks back in the day. So if I was going to make it a, a, any advice to you, and uh, this is not a... You know, this is not financial uh, advice per se, but if, because I don't want to give advice, I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, but if I were going to do it all over again, I might get into Digibyte and Theta while it's still young. Anyway, folks, again, I'm heading off to work. I just got a few more minutes to get there. I really appreciate you being a Patreon um, and your contribution. I really do appreciate that. I know the channel is small uh, right now, but so is my YouTube channel when I first started. When I first started that YouTube channel, I had two or three people for the, for the longest time, and all of a sudden, one day out of the blue, I'm exaggerating, not one day out of the blue, but it would seem to be very quickly it jumped to like 35 and I thought oh my god I got 35 people and then one day it's a thousand and now I got like what is it 18,000 people on my YouTube channel and I hope that this Patreon channel will grow um, I'm trying it's it's difficult to start a new channel out um, like it was YouTube it was very difficult trying to to um, to get it 
get the momentum and that's what I'm trying to achieve here at Patreon just be patient with me I've already had a couple of people uh, giving me suggestions and whatnot and I'm gonna take that to heart anyway folks you have a great day um, take care and be safe please and buy some silver